Hey guys, it's Anne here, and really I was just waiting for a day where I had the house to myself to even re try to record a video, but I realize now that that's never going to happen. Not, not the way I want it to be, so I'm going to try and record this video. If you see this, that means I succeeded. Anyways, today is a tutorial on a good way to fit a part to a model base. And today, I'm going to uh, use this base that I uh, edited together for a friend. Um, well, actually, she did. I just fixed it out a bit. And this is the uh, shirt I want to fit on there. So I'm just going to do that. Just wait for this thing to work. Whoops. Nothing. Happens. There we go. Much better. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to take and select all the parts that I need, put it in the general right spot, yeah, maybe bring it up a tiny bit, and then what I'm going to proceed to do is go to the facials tab. Too far. Which is this one? Go here, go to UV, and it opens up uh, this. Now, what I'm gonna do here is go here, figure out which parts I want to uh, move, which are these. And then I'm going to uh, select uh, the parts that I want to uh, move. And the reason why I'm doing this is because it's much easier to uh, do something else eventually once uh, once uh, once uh, you fit it fully. So I'm just gonna just continue moving this and I will fast forward through this until um, I get done. This feeling's got us flying so high Nobody really knows where we're going But as long as we are here, we are right Free from all the pain, from all the sorrow Free from all the rain, there will be tomorrow Oh, by the way, quick thing, if you hold control and then middle click, you can uh, go a lot slower same thing, I think if you hold shift, you go a lot faster. Nobody really knows where we're going, but as long as we're here, we're going to be loving this moment. These right here act very different. Or they are all very similar yet very different. It literally just does this. That was the normal. This is the A. See that one has more of a point. And B is, I guess, more rounded. I guess it's very useful to know. So 
also with what I'm doing here, it is best you not, like, you can mess with anything else, just don't mess with the middle line. Or else it won't mirror correctly. just getting rid of this thing right here all together. Yeah. Or at the very least moving it. Yeah, that's what I'm wondering. I'm gonna move it. By the way, by doing this, you can move at the point at which you want the thing to move. So by doing so, I can move the front a little bit more than I can the back. And just by holding shift and left clicking somewhere else, which highlights something, if it, there's nothing selected, it just resets it. If anyone's curious, I made this jacket a long time ago. Like a real long time ago. Doing? Are you not comfy? There we go. You go to M and then you click M. Some things could, uh, as you can clearly see, it looks pretty good. Looks good. Don't it? Of course there are some things to fix since this face isn't exactly mirrored. But it's good enough. And it looks good. Here we go. Now what you do is you go here. This doesn't really matter. Just click this. And you can definitely tell, you can see after mirroring it, 
you get this. It is real good. As for me, if you didn't remove the bones, and uh, when you just added the model in there, the bones would already be rigged. You might have to fix a few rigs, but for me, I removed the rig, so I want to show you how to do that too. As for where to get the plugin, I don't know. Alright, I click this, click yes, click no. Go over here to the T, which stands for test, I'm pretty sure, or transform view. It's still test, you know? I think it was test in the older versions. And there we go. You click here, click the S, which you can click save. Well, I recommend you don't do what I'm going to do. It's best to always keep a copy of the original and this one, just in case. But nah. Just quit and just, I just do that. I recommend not doing that. It's just what I do. And then we click this, click OK. And there you go. Of course, some things are going to have to be like, Fixed. Do here. I'm just going to fix this real quick. Just move this down. See it. Looks pretty damn good. Yes, we. I'm going to go here, click this, click user, click this, go click this, which pops up this. I'm just going to name this rig. And this saves your rig. Click R, go here. Select everything, go back over to uh, what it was, and click the top one this time, and this opens the ring. Now I'm going to go back to the transform view. And there you go. It's not the best, you know, but it works. Sometimes, even after doing this, you're probably going to have to fix a few things. But for what's going on here, it's fine. It works just, it works just fine, you know. You could probably uh, re-rig that to not follow the boat, the, the neck so much. But I'm just going to leave it as is. You and me can save the world that we're losing. Well, there you go. That's how you, uh, that's how you can, uh, very easily fit something to a model. For something like my uh, jacket here, with a few modifications, it's not too high poly, so it's just fine. Other things might need a bit more editing if it's a higher poly, which is, in my opinion, harder to uh, edit, you know, without opening something like Blender or Mythos Clea to edit it that way. But... This works just fine for those who don't know how to use it or can't. So, whatever works, right? Now I'm just going to save this. Stay tuned for more videos. I really hope this helped in some way. Well, anyways, goodbye!